Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your month of May tarot reading. Generally my readings are love readings, so we're going to call this a love reading because that's typically what they are. So what you need to do is only take what resonates and really follow your intuition. Your intuition has the answers above any tarot card reading that you get, okay? These are probabilities. Anyhow, we're going to get one of these oracle cards and one of these oracle cards, then we're going to break into the tarot deck. If one of these oracle cards flips over while, and that was a bunch, flips over while we are shuffling, then you will get to see it now, okay? Um, other than that, we will reveal it at the end. Now I want to let you know that this could resonate in April. This is being recorded on April 17th. Okay, so it could re resonate anywhere from now until the end of May, even the beginning of June, because we're all on different phases and the timing is fluid. This is meant for the month of May, but whenever it resonates with you, is how it is supposed to be. This is for the sign of Capricorn, Love, May, 2018. This is for the sign of Capricorn. What do you have for the sign of Capricorn? What do they need to know in regards to love? Generally, these readings are for people that are struggling in some way. If you're not struggling, or you're not looking for answers, you're not looking for, you don't have any, you know, you probably shouldn't be watching this. Okay, so you, I'll get comments sometimes. All the readers do. I'm not looking for love. Underneath a love reading, it's like, oh, well, why'd you watch it then? Or I'm happy in my love relationship. Well, then why'd you, why are you looking for a tarot reading? You know, so I'm like, okay, sure you are. This is for the sign of Capricorn in regards to their love lives. Typically, these are for singles. They could be for couples. You know it all. You know however it plays out for you. But it's definitely for people that are struggling in some way in their relationship. I mean, it is. Capricorn. Oh, somebody's struggling in their love life. I don't know what the hell that is. Somebody may feel like they're not being loved enough or they're not able to offer love. I mean, this is the Ace of Cups. It's reversed. So, you know, somebody's not feeling fulfilled in the areas of love. I mean, that's what it is. This is somebody needing to look at something from a new perspective. They need, they are resisting a change when they shouldn't be, but, but they are becoming enlightened. So maybe you're going through a period of enlightenment, a period of learning even, you know, so you're unable to offer or accept love at this time. Something is going on here in which you have to let go of something. You're like in limbo right now. Maybe you're not feeling like you're worthy. That could certainly be the case. You may feel like you can't offer any love because you don't have anything to offer. Maybe you, that could be the case because this is, this is rejecting an offer because I don't have enough to offer. I mean... Now, that could just be... You may have enough to offer. This is a perspective right here. Okay, this is a perspective. So if that's what you think, I mean, that could be just what you think. This is this is the Seven of Wands. This is about standing up for yourself. This is about um, standing your ground. This is about knowing that you're 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 still on top. Okay, you are. You have a lot to offer. You really do. It it feels as though you guys, you may want a change in a relationship or in the love arena, but you're unable to take the next step. You're unable to let something go. I feel that, and there is a, a 
feeling of you're holding on to something truly with these two cards there's something you're holding on to that is affecting your future in love okay now it could be an aries leo sagittarius it could be could be any sign because i don't like to hold it to that but it feels like you guys have to regain your confidence you have to re regain your your inner spark okay you have to relight it you have to regain your confidence okay i feel like Whatever, you guys may feel like you're not worthy, but you truly are. So I feel like you guys are thinking you don't have enough to offer right now, so you may not be offering anything because you may be holding on to something from the past. You're holding on. Something is getting old. You're holding on to something. That's what the card means, reversed. This is a troublesome relationship. Maybe you were in a relationship that has caused you a lot of trouble and you had to really stick up for yourself and put up a big fight. You know, maybe you've been involved in a big fight with another person. Now you don't trust anybody. I don't know. Something is going on here where you're feeling like you don't, and maybe you, yeah, I think that you don't trust anybody could be a part of it because you might be, if I feel like somebody's going to come in and they're just after you for your money, something like that. Anyway, I feel like you're you're definitely afraid of, of some sort of relationship here. Okay, because this Ten of Cups is reversed. So, you know, maybe you're giving up on love or you feel like you want to give up on love right now. You know, you guys have learned something. You've been through some sort of cycle. You've been through some phase in your life that has taught you something big. It has. And I feel like you should be looking at this as a time of inspiration, a time of hope. Whatever didn't work out wasn't meant to be. And I feel like the universe has removed whatever this was from your life for a reason. And I feel like you may be feeling very um, down on the outs. You may be feeling like you are even a victim here. You may have that mentality of, I'm so sad, I, you know, there's a feeling of um, emotional withdrawal here, okay? So you may be emotionally withdrawn from letting anybody in to start a relationship because of what has happened in the past. That's what it looks like. You're really, really afraid, really. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like somebody has been hurt very deeply by another person. It could have, it probably involved emotions and money. Okay, I feel like whatever has happened, it really happened because you have a bigger wish. Okay, you have a bigger dream ahead of you. You have something much better ahead of you. Anyway, something had the lesson has been learned, and one phase of your life is 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 has ended for a reason. Okay, you're about to have a new beginning, Capricorn. You are. You have a new beginning right around the corner. You absolutely do. The only thing you need to do is is find your confidence, okay, to start this new beginning, to let this whatever it is into your life. Um, yeah, you have to step outside of your comfort zone, okay, and I feel like, you know, you have to move on from whoever this person was that robbed you or lied to you or cheated on you or something, okay. I feel like you have to definitely move on from that situation mentally. Mentally. I feel like you were dealing with somebody who was quite conniving and sneaky. The truth came out and now you are your guard is up, truly up. And I feel like you you learned a lot from this situation, but stepping outside of your comfort zone to let this person in may be a little tricky. Right? Yeah, you have to remove that obstacle. It's all mental. It is. You you are going you are mentally trapped in the past, it looks like to me. And I feel like you're thinking about starting a new relationship or you're thinking about moving forward in a relationship. Maybe you have moved on from this person that hurt you, okay, that you once really loved, but you haven't completely mentally removed it it's still there it's still haunting you it's still holding you back from fully committing uh, anyway i want to make sure this is zoomed in before i go any further so i feel like this is a month that you are being asked to step outside of your comfort zone and remove the obstacles that are holding you back from being in a relationship 
okay? You are being called to accept this, whatever happened, as a lesson, okay? Move on from it mentally and, you know, stop thinking about it. Just stop thinking about it, okay? Look at this as a time of hope, a time of inspiration, a time of renewal. You know, that's what you should be looking at it as. You should be looking at this as a new beginning, okay? Because there's a new beginning here. And you need to take action right now. It's time to take action. This is act now, think later. So maybe there is somebody around you that's waiting for you. Or somebody that um, wants to come in, but they see that your guard is up. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius because you have it twice with this in the King of Wands under there. You also have Aquarius here. You have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, you have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So we have them all. You're de there's definitely an ex, per se, or somebody in your life that is haunting you. They're haunting you. Okay? And I feel like it's it's... It's not allow because it's haunting you still, it's not allowing you to accept any new offers. That's what it looks like. You may be just wanting to focus on your own stability and your security and your job and your finances and your home and all everything but love at this time because you I don't think you trust anybody. Okay, I think you've been hurt very, very badly. You may be feeling a little angry and bitter about how something ended. And, you know, you're afraid to take action with anybody else for fear that they might do what whoever did to you again. You know, so I feel like you have a new offer. You do. There could be somebody new that's interested in you. You have a new prospect. You do. You have a new opportunity for love in May. Capricorn, you do. But you may not accept it or you may not even see it because you're still stewing over... This person who took advantage of you. So I feel like, you know, you guys do have a new opportunity. But you are you may even deny it. You may be in complete fear, you know, of letting anybody in because you've been lied to. You may feel like you don't, you don't even want to communicate with anybody right now. There's a lack of communication here. A lack of awareness. So I believe that you guys could have an opportunity that you don't even see. You have this fear of being let down. You do. This fear of taking the next step. This fear of being played. <sighs> what if they play me? I think that you are overwhelmed right now. You may feel like you can't afford anybody to come in and cause any more financial uproar that has already been caused. You know, I feel like you have seriously been taken advantage of. And this month you probably have a new opportunity, a new offer of romance or love. And you're so afraid. You're so afraid. Because somebody has totally used you, and I think it was for money and or security, you know, financial security, or and then they may have even cheated on you with the seven of swords and the three of cups. But this, you may have been cheated on. May doesn't mean you were, you know. I feel as though right now you're not like you're not having any fun. You're not feeling very playful. You're not feeling like you have much to offer, and that's what I saw at the very beginning. Um, but you're being called to have confidence, 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 confidence. And you had confidence under the air too. Bring your confidence back. I feel like you are being called to let go of the past hurts. This is letting go. Finding your inner strength and being willing. It's also willingness to let go of your fears. Whatever's, whatever has happened, happened because it, something needed to end. That phase of your life was over, and you may not have seen it that way, but that, you know, we all evolve, we all change. And we have many soulmates in a lifetime, and there was a, 
there was a chapter, and it was probably a pretty big chapter in your life that has ended, that needed to end so that you could find your ultimate happiness. But I feel like you're not seeing that right now. You're not. You're definitely not. I feel like, you know, you're somebody is probably offering you romance. They're probably offering you an opportunity. And you're, you're trying to realize or you're trying to f figure out what the hell you really want. Right now, you're really focusing on your future. You're thinking about your future and how you can be victorious and successful in the future that's what you're and i'm thinking about in both arenas love and money right now i think money and finances and job are at the top of your list because you've been hurt really hurt so i'm just trying to restore the the financial loss that whoever it was caused you i think somebody caused you a huge financial loss and you're trying to recover and so, yeah, I think that you, that eventually you want love or, you're, or you have some desires that need to be met, whatever. So I think that you, you are looking for love, but you're really unsure about letting anybody in, okay? So you're probably preparing, you know, yourself for future love right now through introspection, you know, through you're going through a healing process. That's what's going on. So yeah, you're working on yourself, you're working on healing, you're working on self-love, you're working on self-worth because I can see that it was lacking, it's still lacking. So I feel like right now it's all about you recovering from being taken advantage of. That's what it is. You're working on your own self right now, you're working on your own stability, you're working on your own security and... You may be learning new things, you may be... changing things up in your, in your in your home I think you're really working on your own inner being and you're you're evolving into a new person that is secure on the inside and the outside you know what I'm saying you're really just really focusing on yourself independence independence right now you may be learning I don't know if I said this but it came to my mind learning new skills I think I may have said it but it just came to my mind again you may be learning new skills you may be um, making some compromises in your life trying to change things up Yeah, there's been a, there's a, there's been some conflicts with another person, and I think that it's left you. That so, I think somebody has left you high and dry, really emotionally and financially, and it's caused some bitterness and some anger. And you're probably accepting the reality, and as you accept this reality of it, you're working on me. You're working on you. Replenishing your soul, finding your self worth, finding that confidence that that's been lost. And I think that you are probably interested in finding love, but it's just an interest because the fear is still there. I think that you feel like you don't have enough to offer financially because you may have been stolen from. That's how you're probably looking at this. She freaking or he, he or she robbed me of my self-worth, my self-esteem, my money, my time. So I feel like right now you're you're working on bringing up your your self-worth your inner be you're working on your inner being you're working on your home you're working on your job you're working on everything but love this month and that doesn't mean that you're not looking for love i think you may be open to it but not really you know what i'm saying if somebody comes in and really it's undeniable you know i don't know what you'll do you know, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that's very confident and that somebody could come in and help you regain your focus and help you, okay? Or this is just you, and maybe you need to get creative. This is you needing to get creative, you regaining that confidence in your self-esteem that has been taken. Anyway, I feel like you have an opportunity for new love 
or a new romance in which you may be very hesitant to let anybody in because you don't feel worthy enough yet. So I do feel like there's a new opportunity in love. There is. There is. And this person is not your usual type. They're not. They don't look like your usual type. They don't. And I feel that you are going to be called to be optimistic about this person. Anyway, I think there is an opportunity for you guys, but you may not even see it with that Four of Cups because you're, you're so worried about taking advantage of. So, let's get these. Ooh, you're healing. I knew you were healing. You absolutely are healing. There's no doubt. You guys are going through a period of healing. Healer of the Ages. Do something for someone else. Give your attention to someone else. This card is perfect. Somebody wants your attention, Capricorn. Can you give it? Be open to giving it to somebody else. 51, I'm going to read that one because I can't remember these cards. This powerful being brings the force of ancient wisdom and profound healing. The light of divine consciousness pours from his hands and feet, or heart, <laughs> his hands and heart, flowing to you with love and a powerful healing intention. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to start over because I messed it up. This powerful being brings the force of ancient wisdom and profound healing. The light of divine consciousness pours from his hands and heart, flowing to you with love and a powerful healing intention. This amazing entity is with you now, bringing resolution to physical, mental, and emotional ills helping to unblock stuck energy and revitalize your life force. Wow. Wow. This is for sun, moon, and rising. You may have felt this strong presence recently, or you may just be opening to the wonderful sensations now. You can call upon this emissary of miraculous transformation whenever you need vitality, balance, or renewal. Know that at the deepest level, an important healing is taking place. And this is exactly what is going on. Wow. So anyway, that's what I have for you guys. You're going through a period of healing and it's bringing you love. It is bringing you love. This is the Two of Cups down here. You're healing so that you can be ready for the right one. Talk to you later.